Okay. Today I'm gonna discuss how you're gonna measure the voltage from the questions about the users of CR or scattery or scope. Okay, usually in SPM they're gonna give this kind of question. They ask you to calculate. Okay, let's go to the question. Okay, so this figure shows a trace of oscilloscope for an AC source if the Y gain. So look at this keyword Y gain. Okay, so it's set to 1.5 volt per centimeter. Okay, another here. And time base is set to 2 millisecond per centimeter. Alright, so the first question, they ask you how to calculate the peak voltage of the AC source. So what is peak voltage? Okay, so from this waveform, okay, so we know that one box is equivalent to one centimeter. And then, the question said that the Y gain is set to 1.5 volt per centimeter. So it means that each of these box has a scale of 1.5. So if this is 1.5, so this is going to be 3. Okay, so one box 1.5 and second box 3 volt. So the question, the first question asks you for the peak voltage. Peak voltage means is the amplitude of the waves. Okay, so so the amplitude of the waves consists of two box, which means two times one point five. So the peak voltage will be equivalent to three volt. Okay, so we've done with the first question. Okay, let's continue. How to figure out the frequency of the waveform? Okay, this topic, this waveform is you have to apply the concept of wave in the chapter one. Okay, so how are you gonna determine the f the before you figure out the frequency? We have to figure out what's the period of the wave. Okay, so let's see. The period can be measured from the peak to peak of the waveform. Or from this point to this point so let me take let's say I, I'm taking from the peak of the wave to another peak of the wave so how many boxes are there one two three four so there are four boxes so here comes the time base the time base represents two okay, two millisecond per centimeter which means that if we have four box, okay, for question number two, so we have four box, so each box is equivalent to two millisecond. So therefore, the the period, okay, the period T is equivalent to eight millisecond. Thus. The frequency is equivalent to 1 over t in wave. Therefore, it is equal to 1 over 8 millisecond, but you have to change it into second, which is 10 to the negative 3 second. So there you are. Then you get your answer how to measure the frequency of the waveform. So, bear in mind there are two important keywords over here. To measure the voltage, you must understand what is the Y gain. Is the Y gain is set to 1.5 volt per centimeter, which means each box has 1.5 volt, 3 volt, 3.5, and so on. And the time base represents the X axis, which means if in this case the time base is set at 2 millisecond per centimeter, which means each box has 2 centimeter. 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. So hopefully by now you can understand how much voltage and the frequency from a waveform printed in the CRO. So don't forget, get update to my blog www.physics4spm.com for more latest posts. For now, goodbye.